There's only three countries in the world that produce the C-Class vehicle. Bremen in Germany, Beijing in China, and Buffalo City in South Africa. And each of those C-Class Mercedes that are produced are produced by local labor, not for the South African market only. We take less than 20% of their production. Most of their production is exported. So when you see a C-Class Mercedes-Benz uh, in um, uh, Rome or in um, uh, New Delhi or in um, Sao Paulo, chances are that they, it would have been made here in South Africa. And so the localization effort is about highlighting this and uh, uh, seeing how we can drive more of that innovation in our society. And I want to, to, to end by pointing to a few key drivers of localization. The first one is partnership. We know that while government has a role to play in advocating the storyline for localization, and proudly South Africa uh, does uh, uh, really important work here, we need to get the private sector as a whole to embrace that. And so uh, we uh, met with BUSA and KUSATU and uh, NACTU and FEDUSA uh, in 2020. And after a few months of engagement, we landed a, an agreement, a commitment by all uh, of these uh, uh, social partners to work together on a localization accord, to, to seek to localize 200 billion rands worth of goods over a five year period. And so when I talk about that an aesthetic plant, it's, a, it's an example of moving towards the 200 billion. When I see PG Bison telling me uh, earlier about the, um, uh, the uh, factory, the progress with the factory that will build the continent's biggest um, board manufacturing facility here in South Africa, it's a contribution to that 200 billion rand. When I, my, my, my um, uh, department works with a foreign investor to build an oil refinery, an edible oil refinery in Richards Bay so that palm oil can be refined in South Africa. It's a contribution to that. So partnerships is the first driver. The second one is resource mobilization. We've had more than half a um, billion rand mobilized from the private sector in the last few years in support of the general localization effort. This is over and above what they're doing in their own value chain. Coca-Cola put 240 million rand of its own money on the table and it said, let's work together to deepen localization in the South African economy. Air Liquide, which is a company that um, uh, uh, does work for Sasol, uh, they run uh, the oxygen plants of, of Sasol, uh, put 100 million rand on the table. And uh, uh, in the last week and a half, you've seen the reports in the media that Heineken is putting 200 million rand on the table to support the localization efforts. Now, I point to the fact that this is over and above what they're doing in their own supply chains. This is just to support the general effort on localization, and we will be launching the localization support fund soon, where you would be able to get more details of it. And interestingly, uh, someone who, who has quite a bit of uh, history uh, with procurement is now one of the leading uh, players in the localization uh, support fund. The third area is master plans. And master plans is partnerships at uh, sector level. One of your talk uh, sessions is a discussion on the sugar master plan. We have a master plan in the auto industry that's driving localization in clothing, textile, footwear, and leather, and I see um, uh, the, the head of the National Clothing Retail Federation uh, with us today, Michael Lawrence, and um, uh, we've got one in the furniture uh, sector, and I see the, uh, the, the chair uh, of um, the Furniture uh, Industry Association uh, here with us. We have it in the steel sector, where we, we need to now do much more on the procurement side, and we have it on the poultry sector, where we're buying more and more South African grown chickens uh, as we go forward. So these master plans at local level, at sector level, 
is an opportunity for you to become involved. So any of the businesses here would like to be part of those master plans, please let us know. You can contact uh, the Proudly South African CEO and uh, the team here, and we'll link you up. The final driver is the African continental free trade area. We're building a massive free trade area here on the African continent. We've got close to 1.4 billion people, but they're split into 55 different uh, political units called countries. China has about the same number of people, one polity. India is about the same number of people, one uh, 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 regulatory regime. And so to unlock the growth of the continent and the opportunities for South African manufacturers, we've brought together the heads of state of all the African uh, countries, 55 countries, 54 of them uh, signed the agreement to set up an African continental free trade area. And of those 54, 47 parliaments have now ratified the agreement, including the South African parliament. We're now doing the final exchange of products. We may be able to start trading this year uh, under the new concessions in the African continental free trade area. It will take a number of years before the tariffs are reduced to zero, but there's an enormous opportunity for us to do things differently. So let me conclude by saying that I, I have no doubt that I speak to converts to the localization cause in this room. And that you all support the consumer campaigns to leverage domestic demand. You've pointed to the economic objective of growing manufacturing. I saw it on the screen here. You've pointed to the social objective of job creation, of giving South Africans an opportunity to be economic citizens. Uh, and uh, you've pointed in the comments of uh, the chair of Proudly South Africa of the importance that this campaign can have to build national cohesion. Pride in country and in the capacity of South Africans, uh, and that requires us to become storytellers about our efforts. And whilst the big, slick campaigns of Proudly South African is important, in many cases, when an entrepreneur gets up and they tell their story of how they have not only localized the product, but also changed the lives of people, it makes a powerful impact to consumers. I urge you, do more public advocacy on the great work that South African business persons, small businesses, and workers are doing. And I wish the next two days to be an absolutely wonderful uh, event uh, celebrating localization and our capabilities. Thank you very much.